Hey there everybody, Destroyer X here, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Mega Man X. In part 2, we managed to defeat Chill Penguin, and we also managed to defeat Storm Eagle. So now we're going to be tackling Flame Mammoth. But before we go into his stage, let's go ahead and get his specs. Flame Mammoth, height, 10.5 feet, weight, 719 pounds, attacks, fire wave, oiling, and jump press. He is a heavy, heavy maverick. Flame Mammoth! As we enter the factory stage, we can see that there appears to be an icy surface on several areas of the stage. Normally, when we enter the factory stage, several areas would have pools of molten metal and occasional flame geysers that would erupt from the molten metal. However, the, the feet of Chill Penguin somehow caused the molten metal to solidify. Also, the flame geysers no longer erupt. Not only does defeating Chill Penguin first make the factory stage significantly easier to traverse through, it is also required to defeat Chill Penguin first in order to access the light capsule, the heart tank, and the sub tank. And as you can see right now on the screen, I'm trying to access the light capsule. And I failed quite a few times already. As you can probably tell, I did make a few notes this time around but to make my um, LP a little bit more organized, but you know, I'm, they're just notes, an occasional script, and that's about it. But as you can see, I managed to get up, 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 up. As, if you manage to stick, keep on going up. And here we go. This capsule contains a part, which will increase the capabilities of your X Buster. You can use it to fire all types of weapons. Arm part get! And now we get our demonstration. Alright, so basically with this particular buster upgrade, the arm part, we can charge our X buster up to four levels. This is the fourth level, that, which is called the Spiral Crush Buster. And there's our heart tank, by the way. If we didn't go through the stage, if we went through the stage first without be defeating Chill Penguin, that would have not been it would not have been possible for us to actually get the heart tank but um we defeated chill penguin first so there you go now as you can see here i'm i'm gonna keep talking about the level four charge the level four charge is called the spiral crush buster it does pass through most walls it does fire an array of pink spiral shots and, and it not only that it can charge the special weapons of mavericks you won't see that happen too much in the LP, but you know what? Um, you'll see a few occasions where I charge it, but that's those are few and far between, though. And as you can tell, I watch well, you probably can't tell until, well, now nah, I'm I'm telling you now, but um, I'm trying to get to a sub tank, which the sub tank itself you can only get. You, the only way you can get the sub tank is you have to have the dash, the actual, the leg part to actually get to it. Or you can call it the leg part, you can call it the foot part. It's called foot part in the wiki, so I'll just call it the foot part. But basically you want to dash over here and you want to kick these destructible blocks and you'll be able to get the energy tank. Having a script does, well actually it's not so much a script, but having notes does actually make things a little bit easier. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, I may, I'm may. i probably going to do this for the rest of the parts, in all honesty. But yeah, those robots that have pickaxes, they will th if they manage to hit you with the pickaxes, they will laugh at you. And over here, there's a crusher. because You want to kind of be careful not to get caught by that crusher, because if you get smashed by the crusher, it is an instant kill. If you did actually manage to come to this stage before you beat Chill Penguin, um, the Molten metal is actually an instant kill as well and i don't know what that is could be oil could be corrosive liquid i don't know what's dropping from those pipes but they won't instant kill you but they do some damage to you overall the level is pretty short we're almost at the end of the level in all honesty so we're about ready to get to the boss room
All right, so now we're gonna go into this door. Conveyor belt right there. The conveyor belt is going to take us all the way over to Flame Mammoth. All right, Flame Mammoth has a few attacks. One of his attacks is the jump press, where basically all he does is he tries to land on X. If he manage, if X actually manages, if he's still on the ground while when um, Flame Mammoth lands, he will Flame Mammoth will cause a ground tremor, which will temporarily stun X. And in addition to that, Flame Mammoth also has an oiling attack where he launches oil from his trunk. And if Flame Mammoth's fire wave touches the oil, the oil will be set on fire. And of course, there's also the fire wave where fireballs are launched from Flame Mammoth's buster. That level was pretty quick, by the way. Flame Mammoth's wet weakness is the storm tornado, and you can also use the boomerang cutter. It's not its weakness. But we get the fire wave so i'm gonna keep talking <laughs> it's not a very, it wasn't a very long stage but i'm gonna keep talking uh, fire wave fireballs will launch from flame mammoth's buster in addition to that whenever flame mammoth uses his trunk as a trumpet the direction of the conveyor belt changes there we go quick stage and i couldn't cover everything so as you can see we are going back over to show penguin stage because there is actually a heart tank and chill pinion stage that we could not get before because of the fact that we did not have the fire wave, but now we have the fire wave. So we're just gonna, well, just go over to, we're gonna make our way over to where the actual heart tank is. I love using the storm tornado because of the fact that it has a large attack radius and can hit multiple enemies. So that's one of my favorite weapons to use in the series. I think there are several um, speedrunners that actually use the Storm Tornado. I couldn't tell you because I don't always watch speedrunners, but I do watch them on occasion. So. But yeah, I know that was pretty quick. So that was a quick um, Flame Mammoth stage, but you know, I mean, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. So plus I've played this game several times, so it's, not like this was my first rodeo into this game. All right, so basically the boomerang cutter can be used on Flame Mammoth. It does. It's not really his weakness, but if you if you use the boomerang cutter enough times on Flame Mammoth, you can actually sever his trunk, and that will prevent Flame Mammoth from changing the direction of the conveyor belt. But we don't have boomerang cutter yet, so that was so I don't know why I'm even talking about it. Probably for the sake of talking about it. But we're gonna go right up here and switch over to fire wave. Miss it. There's fire wave. And we're gonna go there we go. And there's the heart tank. That's all we need, so we're gonna get out of the level right now. Here's our password. You can either pause the video to write it down, or you can Save it if you're press save if you're gonna do if you're on the um, Mega Man X Legacy Collection. But now we're gonna go into another stage. This is Spark Mandrel, and Spark Mandrel specs. Let's take a look at those real quick. Spark Mandrel height ten feet, weight six hundred forty six pounds, attacks electric spark and dash punch. Spark Mandrill! So, has anybody wondered what happened to the Death Row Gummer after we defeated um, Storm Eagle? That's the Death Row Gummer right there. The remains of it, at least. Now, this is one of those stages where um, something that you do in one stage can impact another stage. For example, death, the Death Row Gummer crashing into the Power Plant stage it actually damaged the power plant. Normally there would be some electric sparks running through the transparent pipes that would damage X, but because of the death program had damaged the actual power plant, it actually um, crippled the power, uh, you know, that removed that hazard. And of course, these, as you can see on the screen, 
and we're in a Hotaran section. They fly incredibly fast, and they temporarily illuminate this particular room, and they can be hard to dodge because they are, they move so, so fast. But we're getting ready to go... Uh, we're getting ready to reach a mini-boss and say hello to the Thunder Slimer. Now, assuming that the power plant did not get damaged, then the one of the attacks of the Thunder Slimer would be... It would go to the center screen, it would basically charge up... It would basically recharge its energy and then unleash blasts of electricity from its underside. However, because of the fact that we managed to crash the death programmer into the power plant, it didn't do it. However, it does have other attacks like launching those small blobs to try and uh, on the ground. And if X gets caught in those blobs, it will actually um, X will actually um, be stuck for a few moments until he, he either dashes enough times to actually dispel the blobs or uses a charge shot to dispel the blobs. Now we're pretty soon, as soon, I know I'm taking a lot of damage, I'm sorry, but that's why we have sub tanks right there. Oh yes, I almost forgot, Thunder, Thunder Slimer is weak against the Rolling Shield, which we don't have yet. Um, however, the um, Storm Tornado does a significant amount of damage because of the fact that um, it can hit the Thunder Slimer repeatedly. But after we get rid of this thing right here, we're gonna go over to the wall. And right up there, we get ourselves a heart tank. All right, the heart tank, that is, if you are not able to dash jump your way up there, you can actually get the boomerang cutter later on to actually get it a little bit easier, but that involves backtracking. We're gonna have to backtrack anyway, but I figured to go ahead and get the heart tank now because I do, I mean, I do enjoy having that extra boost of health to my health meter. Another Hotaran section right here. And I am not always great at destroying the Hotarans before I get hit. And we're almost at the end of the stage, actually. So there's the boss room door. And then here's the second boss room door. And now we're gonna face off against Spark Mandrill. -ha. Spark Mandrill has three attacks. Well, yeah, three attacks. One is the electric spark, which he punches the ground and releases two large electric orbs about as tall as X. They'll travel along the the ground, then climb up the ceiling and disperse. On they'll tr they'll, they'll climb up on the walls. Oh my goodness, this goes by way too quickly. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, um, they go, he punches the ground, they, the electric orbs, they'll travel along the ground, climb the walls, they'll dissipate upon contact with the ceiling. The dash punch, depending on how close he is to, to X, he'll basically either perform a standing punch, a dash punch, or he, if he's close enough to a wall, he'll basically, his punch will actually shake the wall and knock you off the wall if you're dash jumping. And that's the electric spark, by the way. And there's our password. So, um, to, it's a short video, I know. <laughs> so, another thing that he does is he will, of course, swing on the pipes. And if he basically, well, the pipes on the ceiling. And if he manages to get overhead, uh, then he will drop, attempt to drop down on X. He's weak, incredibly weak against shotgun ice. And if you time it correctly, I mean, if one shot from the shotgun ice will, Shotgun ice will freeze him solid, but if you time it correctly, as soon as he breaks out of the ice, he can actually be caught in a loop. Where if you fire it quickly enough, he can be refrozen, and then you can just keep looping that over and over again. And yeah. <laughs> well, everybody, that's it for part three of Let's Play Mega Man X. In part four, we will tackle my favorite stage in the entire game and we will also tackle my least favorite stage in the entire game. If there are any viewers that were fans of the Side Scrollers podcast at ScrewAttack.com, you can probably guess one of the stages we'll be heading to next time. As always, I want to thank everyone so much for checking out this video. If you like this video and want to see more, feel free to click the subscribe button so you can see my newest videos. 
Also, if you want to receive a notification when I upload a new video, feel free to click that notification bell and you will receive an alert when I upload a new video to Destroyer X Gaming. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and ciao for now.